beforehand here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. I want you to write down the long date, Tuesday 19th of May 2020, and the LI to create a classification key. Great, let's move on. Characteristics. We're going to create our own branch and key to identify living things by looking at their characteristics. The characteristics of a living thing are what makes it similar or different to other living things. All species have a unique set of characteristics. Do you recall what species means? It's a group of living things that, that are able to reproduce. And unique means special. Species with similar characteristics are put into groups. This is how we classify things. So I want you to take this moment to read through this again loudly so that it can really um, go in your mind. I want you to take a look at this dog and we have a few statements over here. Is an omnivore, has four legs, is awake, has a tail, plays catch with a ball, is a vertebrate, is known as man's best friend, has whiskers, has fur, is cute. From all of these statements, which one do you think is a characteristic of a dog? So I want you to pause, have a think and write this down. Let's go through the answers. So these are some of the characteristics of a dog is an omnivore. Do you recall what an omnivore was? It's an animal which eats plants and meat. Well then, if you remember that from our previous learning. Has a tail, is a vertebrate, has fur, has whiskers and has four legs. And in this um, column, these are not characteristics of the species. Is awake. Plays catch with a ball, is cute, is known as man's best friend. Now, why do you think these statements, they're not characteristics of the dog? Have a think and you can discuss this with your adult. So, I would love to see what answers you came up with. So, I hope you wrote all of these down. So, these are not characteristics of a dog because it's not unique to the dog. So, it's awake. Is that only something that's unique to the dog? No, because I'm awake right now. So they're not the ingredient that makes a dog a dog. So for example, the dog has whiskers, it has four legs. That's what makes it special, unique to the dog. It's an omnivore. So all of these characteristics, when you put them together, they make the dog a dog. So playing catch with the ball is cute, it's cute, it's just an opinion. It's not a characteristic. So now let's look at this um, picture. What are the characteristics of this living thing? So first, what is this animal called? It's a worm. So I want you to think back to our previous learning and think what category did the worm fit into? And then what grouping? And for, in those groupings, what characteristics do they have? So have a think. It's an invertebrate. We know that because it doesn't have a backbone. And it fits into the annelids. So well done if you remember that. Its body is divided into segments. So we can just see that from the pictures. These little segments over here. Into parts. Smooth. Now what are the characteristics of these pubes? These people remember that humans are living things. So you can look at the picture and think about your previous learning. So you can take this time to go through your notes. Vertebrates has a backbone. So we know that vertebrates have a backbone. Mammals, humans fit into the mammal group. Warm blood has hair. And mothers feed their babies milk. So well done if you got those correct. And if you got anything different, 
can write it down, take a picture and show me. So now to create a successful classification key, we need to first create a classification table, create your classification key and then to test and evaluate our classification key. So bear this in mind. So I want you to pause this section and go on this BBC Bite Size link to find out more information about what classification keys are. It's just a one minute clip and you can find, you can either type this up in your browser or go on our year four online learning platform to access this link. And when you're watching the video, I want you to take down some notes. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed that video. Now let's see what we learned from it. A key is a set of questions about the characteristics of living things. So there is a set of questions. After me, set of questions. Your turn, set of questions. You can use a key to identify a living thing or decide which group it belongs to by answering the questions. So as we recall, our first step was the classification key. So I have an example here and we're going to go through this together and create our key together so that when you reach your main activity, you can do this independently. We have over here a rainforest hab habitat classification. So all of these animals and plants live in the rainforest. So record which living thing has each characteristic by putting a tick or a cross in the table and then write your own questions in the last two boxes of the table. So we have the jaguar, orchid, flower wasp, long-winged butterfly, hummingbird, tree frog, anaconda and Amazonian giant centipede. So when you're doing this, you have to record which living thing has each characteristic by putting a tick or cross in this table and you'll be given eight pictures of these living things just so you see how they look like and notice any um, characteristics they may have. So let's move on. And then at the end, you could come up with your own questions. So these are the animals, the jaguar, tree frog, Amazonian giant centipede, flower wasp, orchid, anaconda, hummingbird, and long winged butterfly. So in the question where it asks, does it have wings? Which animal over here has wings? It would be the flower wasp, the hummingbird, and the long winged butterfly. So you would put a tick next to those animals. And for the rest, you would put a cross. So for some of the questions, you can't really see it in the see it physically in the picture. For example, you physically see that these animals have wings, so lays eggs. That's when you need to go through your notes and see what type of animals lay eggs, vertebrates or invertebrates, and which grouping. So that, that's when you really need to concentrate. What other, so you, you're going to create a classification key to sort your living things. Look carefully at these. What questions could you ask to split them into two groups? What other, what questions think? I gave you a clue, so if you're concentrating, you would have picked that up. You can say, one question could be, is it a vertebrate? And then we have the yes or no. So for the yes, we have the jaguar, the anaconda, the hummingbird, and the tree frog. And for no, we have the flower, so obviously flower is a living thing, but it's not an animal. The wasp, the centipede, and the butterfly. So now we're going to choose one set of living things. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm just going to go with the yes over here. Now what question could you ask to split these living things into two groups? So the jaguar, the anaconda, the hummingbird, the tree frog. You need to ask a question that could split them into a further two groups. Have a think, what possible questions could you ask? Now I could, I would ask, does it have wings? Yes, I have the hummingbird. No, I have the rest of the animals, anaconda, jaguar, and tree frog. 
And now, with the yes, with the hummingbird, that was the end of that branch. So now we have the, the three animals and we have to ask a further question. Does it have legs? Yes or no? So now anaconda is the end of this branch. So now we have to go through these two, tree frog and jaguar, and ask another, a further question. So if you, so you can use a classification table to help you with those questions. Does it have fur? Yes and no, and that is the end of this section. So over here, you can visualize it. We, is it a vertebrate? Yes, and then we chose this set of living things. And then we just went down and down until we reached, does it have fur? The end of our key. And when you reach the end of your key, you can move on to the next group of living things. So the next group of living things over here. And then again, you repeat the process. You choose a question that lets you sort them into two sets as before. Now you will have all of, in your main activity, you'll have these pictures, different pictures, of course, on the online learning website. And when you're doing it, if you have a printer, you can print it out. If not, you can just write this out and you don't need to draw the picture for each section. You can just write it down and at the end, maybe you can stick your pictures in, do what you feel it's best. So now when you finish all of that, you have to test and evaluate your key. Follow the path that leads to each living thing. First we test, does each path work correctly? Do the questions used in the key describe the characteristics of the living things? So remember, you have to think, what are characteristics? So for example, is awake was not a characteristic, was it? Or is cute? So are they describing the characteristics? What could make this key better? Now in our work, we can always do something to improve it and make it better. And what has been done well? So for me, if I wanted to make my key better, I can possibly um, reduce the steps taken to reach the end of the key. So maybe I would think about a way to group the animals based on their characteristics by maybe asking two questions instead of four questions, just so I can reach the end. So, have a think. For your task, you'll be given a woodland habitat classification. Now, you'll have some questions here to help you out, and then you can ask a further two questions. So look at the animals, and what type of questions do you think you'll ask? You have the pictures as well and then using all of this information you're going to create your key so remember you can go through the slides just to see how we did this together to help you out i'm really looking forward to seeing your keys and the type of questions that you've asked and over here we previously um had keys given to us in our activities where you've had to group the animals so you can go through your previous work and have a look at how a key is supposed to look like. And I've got some other example keys over here. Keys can look um, come in different variations. So definitely pause these slides and just have a look at these keys. And once you're done, I want you to take a picture of your work and send it over to year for at grange.harrow.sth.uk. Well done, everyone. This is just um, another key that you can look at as well, without pictures though. So we use pictures to visualise it, but some keys they don't have pictures. So definitely take a look at all these examples and I'm looking forward to seeing your work. Hey everyone, I'm back. Just one last note because I really want everyone to get this right and to be able to do this independently. Um, so I really want you to concentrate and don't rush through your work. So for example, over here we have, is it a vertebrate? We had the jaguar, it was yes. And then does it have wings? No. And then we asked, does it have legs? Yes. And then does it have fur? 
yes. So then over here we can see the similarities and differences with the characteristics. So yes, it's a vertebrate. No, it doesn't have wings. Yes, it has legs. And yes, it has fur. So when you're going through your key and your answers and evaluating it, you can see if it works by going down like this and answering these questions and see where you end up. So if you need any help, you can always email the Year 4 team. I will be happy to help you out. Good luck, everyone.